As you all know, I love black women. I'm a black man who does nothing but preach about black love and talk about the beauty of black women because I know the beauty of black women. You know who this is. This is Jennifer Hudson, and she's a beautiful black woman as well. Pretty sure you guys have known or heard the story by now that uh, in 2017, she broke up with her longtime boyfriend and fiance, David Otunga. They have a nine-year-old son together, and they were in a custody battle for the last two years, which just recently ended uh, this past July of 2019. The details of that custody battle um, are not being divulged, but I'm glad to hear they reached some sort of agreement. Um, she's a very beautiful woman. Um, I thought she was pretty when she had a little bit of weight on her, but when she lost the weight, I was very proud of her that she stuck to her diet and did what she did for herself and she's become very successful of course she's a very successful singer and she's also been doing some acting there was a movie that she did with adam sandler i didn't watch it because i don't watch a lot of adam sandler movies i used to watch it back in the day like happy gilmore and uh you know uh he was in the movie with damon waynes i believe i can't remember the name right now if you guys remember you can let me know in the comment section but it was he was in a movie with um with damon waynes that he had done um, but I'm not really a big Adam Sandler fan. And apparently he did a movie in 2017, the same year that she had broke up with uh, her fiance. And uh, it was called Sandy Wexler. Adam Sandler plays his very unattractive. Well, he's probably unattractive to a lot of black women, uh, like a manager. And he has like a very nerdy personality or whatever. And his love interest in that movie is Jennifer Hudson. I didn't know about this until recently. And... That would definitely be a movie I would never even watch anyway, because I don't watch, like I said, I don't watch Sandler movies, but I definitely wouldn't watch a movie where Jennifer Anderson has to kiss him. So I think near the end of the movie, um, she had to kiss him, and she even explained in an interview, like she, she put it in a nice way that she didn't like the, she really didn't like the fact that she had to kiss him. Her family was watching that movie because that she was, she was going to be in it, and she really didn't want to kiss him, but she had to. And of course, she did it because I guess you have to do it for your. You have to do it because it calls for the script. Adam Sandler actually wrote the script, so that makes sense. He wrote the script that he had to kiss this beautiful black woman. Okay. And since the script called for her to kiss him, she just you know toughed it out and did it. I'm pretty sure she's not really attracted to him at all, but um, she did explain in an interview that her son did not like the fact that he that um she had to kiss Adam Sandler. Like, he literally told his mother, why do you have to kiss him? Now, I'm pretty sure people will look at this and say, oh, well, he just didn't want his mother to kiss another man because it's not his dad. That could be the case, but I'm pretty sure that kid didn't want his mother kissing that white boy. That's what it was. That's pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And like I said, her family, her uh, family members were not the ones that are still, you know, I'm not sure you guys know, but you probably should know that you know, a couple of her family members were murdered by the uh, sister's boy, it was a crazy situation. Sister's brother, um, sister's boyfriend, excuse me, had murdered her, I believe her nephew, murdered her mother and her sister. And then I believe he took his own life. Um, but she still got some family members that are alive that still support and everything. And they didn't like the fact that she had to kiss him either. I'm um, like I said, she probably did it for a paycheck. She's just putting herself out there. I, I don't like when black women have to do these roles would have to kiss these white men even if they're doing it for a paycheck. It's just like when black women were doing porn back in the day, they were doing it to support themselves through school and stuff like that. The fact that they had to put themselves out there and just, I just don't like it. And I don't like, I, you see, let me tell you something. I don't like when black women do this and I don't like when black men do it. I never in my life have ever congratulated any black man that has ever gotten himself with a non-black woman. I don't celebrate any kind of interracial relationship whatsoever. This woman is fine as hell. You talk about legs, beautiful legs. A woman has beautiful legs. She's a dark-skinned woman, okay? She's not very, very dark, like most dark-skinned women, but she is darker complexion, and she's a very beautiful woman. Always found her attractive, and I wish her the very best and nothing but success, as always. I just pray to God that she doesn't decide because they haven't really talked about who she's in a relationship with. I heard that she might have been cheating on David Otunga with a... Um, it might have been a rumor there was a black guy that she was at the studio with and she might have been cheating on David Otunga with him because they were seen together and very close and stuff like that. I just pray that news doesn't come out and this woman becomes a swirler. That would really break my heart. The thing about Jennifer Hudson is that she's just so goddamn beautiful and so goddamn attractive. And when she had her long hair, she looked great. 
when she had more meat on her she looked great but this short hair look that she's been rocking for for quite a while she looks absolutely amazing with it like i mean black women are just beautiful to begin with it's just the features that black women have are features that no other black that no other person on this earth can have because those are black features so you won't find a white woman having any type of features that a black woman has like the beautiful lips or the the the, the kind of body or the or the skin tone because i mean come on melanin is melanin that's all there is to it so i i laugh when people come to my channel and tell me you know that i don't love black women i'm just full of crap and this and that i've loved black women since i've been alive a black woman brought me into this world and gave birth to me i actually got my wife into listening to jennifer hudson's music as well because she you know jennifer hudson does sing like gospel type kind of music and you know that that kind of particular style my wife likes that because she's um god fearing I tell you my wife is african and the funny thing is that i don't know if you guys know this um i did a couple of videos not a lot of people watch my gameplay videos because i know a lot of not, not a lot of people want to watch gameplay they just want to hear about issues that affect black people on this channel when they do listen to what i have to say or anything like that but if you notice in whoever has watched the gameplay video that i've done called my wife saves the world i'm doing a little mini series on that based on this game i'm playing again over again with her likeness she has the the skin tone she has the short hair just like her and the funny thing is my wife just recently cut her hair short in this same particular style i kid you not the same style that jennifer hudson has right now my wife is the same complexion and the same fucking hairstyle it's, it's the crazy i don't know if my wife is trying to copy her or just i don't know but it's just it's fucking amazing i don't know what it is about short hair but i mean long hair is beautiful afros are beautiful i always love afros i told my wife i want to wear afro whenever she can do it again and put her hair in that hairstyle just wear it naturally like that i would love it again but i don't know what it is about short hair but i've always been attracted to black women that have short hair just like this short hair like this or shoulder length like comes down a little bit short like a little bit longer than that but not as long as long hair i just always been attracted to women that have short hair like that i don't know it's just something I just have a, I don't know, it's just something in me. But Jennifer Hudson is a very, very beautiful woman. My wife is a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, of course, because of her voice and because of she's she's being be because she's beautiful. And I pray to God this woman finds love again. Maybe she has somebody, but she's keeping it private. I don't know. But um, her son had the right idea when he questioned that. He really did. Because I'm pretty sure he's not used to seeing his mother kiss a white man, even if it was for a uh, for a movie. And this was in 2017, but I wish her nothing but success. And I only pray that she's not going to be someone that I see on like a public, you know, newspaper talking about she's in an interracial relationship, swirling and shit. Because swirling is, is pathetic, really. It's a really pathetic thing that black women and black men equally are doing, and it doesn't make any sense. I will always teach and preach black love. And if you don't want to hear me teach and preach black love, please don't come to my videos and tell me that I need to stop doing it. I need to stop talking about it because I'm not going to stop talking about black people being together because black people being together is a beautiful thing. When you're stepping outside your community, that's not a beautiful thing. That means you don't have any love for the people in your community because you decide that, oh, because I had a couple of bad relationships, I need to move on with someone else. Despite seeing the world is full of racism from these people, OK, despite seeing that these people can kill you just like the black man or the black woman can give you a, a can. I'm going to put it this way, just like you think the black man can kill you when you're a woman, a black woman. These men can do it, too. Just if you think just because you think that a black woman is no good, you don't think that non-black women are no good either. A lot of people in our community before I go, a lot of people in our community have some really screwed up mindsets. They need to work on themselves before they get into another relationship because they go off all the negative things. And then they put those negative things onto other people in the community, thinking that that's going to happen again with the other people they would choose if they stayed in the black community. So if I had a bad relationship with a black woman, I should think that every black woman is going to give me a bad relationship. If I've had a bad relationship with a black man or even three black men, should I believe that every black man is going to be the same? No, not, we're not all the same. OK, now you can say the same argument for those people out there. But more often than not, I continue to see those people still treating black women bad and treating black men bad as well we need to be with each other 
I'm not telling you that. I am suggesting it to you. And I don't have to suggest it that much because most of us are with each other. We don't need to be pushed together because we already are together. Most of these people know they're doing wrong when they step outside their community and mess with these people that don't look like them. But they do it because they think that it's going to be a better relationship, that they're going to have less stress, it's going to be a beautiful Disney life, and it doesn't turn out that way for them at all. It's laughable to me. But Jennifer, Husband, uh, Jennifer Hudson is a very, very sexy woman, very, very beautiful woman, and I wish her nothing but success. And I hope that she has another successful relationship with a black man. And I'm glad that she's raising her black son. Okay? I'll talk to you guys next time.